All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back. So in this video, we are covering the three core skills that every web designer needs to know. If you want to have a profitable web design business that keeps growing, that keeps making more money, these are the core skills that you got to have. Now, this video, it's part of a bigger challenge, a challenge to show you how to consistently sell websites. So if you want to join that challenge, check out the first link in the description. So let's jump into it right away. What are the three core skills that every web designer needs to know to keep making money, to keep having a profitable business. Now with the free Facebook group that I run and with my students groups over the last few years, I've gotten to observe literally thousands of different web design businesses. The businesses that focus on these three skills and develop them equally do really, really well with web design and people who don't focus on these skills or neglect one or two, they don't do so well. So as we look at these, keep in mind that you're going to need all three if you want to be successful with web design. Okay, and skill number one is technical skills. So since you are a service-based business, you gotta have something to offer. The service part of your business, which just basically means your skills, is the core value of what you offer. So for a service-based business to exist, it has to be built on one or more technical skills. This is where we start, this is where you should start if you're trying to learn web design. So you need to have a service. To have a service-based business, you gotta have something to offer. Having a core skill or core skills is the foundation of your business. Now, the more skills you get, the more market value you're gonna have. And this makes a lot of sense. The better you get at one particular skill or the better that you get at several skills, the more value you're gonna have, the more money you can make. So you gotta start with these core foundational skills. They're gonna be what your whole business is built upon. There is other skills that you're gonna need later, but this is where it all starts. So my advice with this is to start with one core skill first and get it to the level where you can land your first paying client. If somebody's paying you to do this particular skill, that means it's at an acceptable level. Of course, you can continue to grow and develop it, but that means you're making progress. So aim to get your first client with one particular skill first. So for example, you could start learning WordPress, focus just on WordPress and get it to the point where you can get your first client. Now, the final thing about technical skills is make sure that you get a client. A lot of people just continue learning without ever dealing with any real clients and they wait a very long time until they get their first project. I don't recommend this. You're gonna cram your brain with all this stuff and you're never gonna apply it to the actual marketplace, to real projects. And that means you're gonna have a little bit too much information when you get going. It's better off as you're learning to be working with real businesses, seeing how to apply it, seeing what's useful, getting feedback from real projects, from real clients, and putting that all into use. You wanna link your learning with real life experience as you go. Now, where do people go wrong with this? I've covered this a lot more in the link and you'll see what happens when you make these mistakes, but they usually go wrong in one of two ways. People just start off straight away trying to get a real client and they've got no skills. It's very tricky to do. If somebody takes you on board, it's very unlikely that you're gonna deliver something of value since you don't really know what you're doing yet. But the other mistake is spending way too long learning before you go working with a real client. And that causes a lot of problems as well. It usually means you're kind of overqualified and you're overthinking when you get into that first project. And you have a lot of theory, but you don't have real world experience to connect it to, which leads to a lot of trouble as well. So check out the link for more details. Let's get into skill number two. All right, skill number two is not gonna surprise you if you've been around this channel for a while. If you're new though, it might, sales skills. I see sales skills as the most important skill that a web design business has to have. If you wanna be a profitable web design business, you gotta know how to sell. Now, most people think when I say that, that I'm just talking about how to sell deals to clients. Of course, that is important, really important, but there's a lot more to knowing sales skills than just landing deals. Let's look at why, because I think it's really, really important to get this from the very beginning. All right, so skill set number two, selling skills. If you want a profitable web design business, you gotta know how to sell. I know I keep saying it, but it's super, super important. Now, first thing, the most obvious thing is, if you can sell, you're gonna get bigger and better deals with better clients. It is pretty obvious, but it is really important to get. If you can't sell, you're really gonna struggle to land any good deals, to work with the right sort of clients, to pitch the right sort of projects. But for web design, we don't just need to know how to sell to close deals. It's gonna mean some other huge advantages as well. One of those is better client communication. People who can sell, they know the language of business. They know how business owners think, how they talk, what they want to see out of a deal, what would motivate them to get into a deal in the first place. And when you know how to sell, you can talk like this as well. And when you know how to do this, business owners respond in a big way you can send an email, you can get on a call, you can meet someone in person and they're engaged, they're motivated to listen, they like what you're saying, they like how you're thinking and they can see how it applies to their business. That all comes from selling skills. 
it's going to make you a master at communicating to other business owners. This again means that you can make better deals, that you have smoother projects, that everything is running a lot better because you're understanding how it all works and why you're doing what you're doing and why businesses should be interested in what it is that you're doing. The next thing that you need sales skills for is to actually build a website that gets results. If you only have the technical skill, you'll only build a website that looks good, but it doesn't do anything. And ultimately, a business is paying for what a website does. They want something that looks nice, but it's got to do something or they're not going to pay that much for it. And the more that it does, the more that it's worth. So to build a website that gets great results, you do have to have some core technical skills, but a lot of it is going to come from your sales skills, knowing how to generate sales, knowing how to turn a user into somebody that takes action, that reaches out and purchases from your client's business. That's ultimately the major skill in web design. If you can build websites that get huge results, you're going to be worth a lot of money. You're not going to find it hard to close new deals and to make profit. So that is why you need sales skills. Sales skills are so important. It's going to be a massive part of this challenge as we go forwards. Hope that you're seeing why that is. So where do people go wrong with this? A lot of people just seem to think that sales are going to happen, that for whatever reason, they don't have to worry about it and sales are just going to come out of somewhere and clients will find them and it'll be okay. But unfortunately, that isn't the case. You have to get active with your sales skills. You got to be learning sales skills all the time as a web designer. The more that you're going to know how to sell, the better your website's going to go. And if you just think that it's going to happen, it often doesn't and usually your business is going to fail. Another mistake that people think is that their work is going to sell itself. They think if they do one or two good projects, they won't need to sell anymore and that people will just find out about those projects and the deals will start coming in. Again, it doesn't happen that way. You got to be active. You got to be out there. You got to be connecting with business owners, learning how to sell, learning how to communicate, how to show people the value in working with you. It's got to be something that you're doing all the time. It's an active skill. It's not something that you have and you just wait for the opportunities. You got to create those opportunities or you're going to be waiting a long, long time and you're not going to be making much or any money at all. All right, so it might seem like that is it. If you have technical skills and you know how to sell, that you're going to be just fine. There is one more thing missing, and I think a lot of web designers overlook this. It is the thing that holds everything else together and makes sure that your business continues to run smoothly, and it is leadership skills. Leadership skills are so crucial to making sure that your business continues to make money, stay on track, and continues to grow over time. So leadership skills are often overlooked. I see a lot of people out there with the technical skill, they know how to sell, yet their business is not doing so well. And it often comes down to a leadership problem. It's not a word that you hear that often when people are talking about a web design business, but it is something that you got to know. Basically, when you start off, you are your business, which means two different things. One, you got to work in your business, but then two, you got to work on yourself. You got to manage yourself and manage your business. Now, a lot of web designers they spend all their time working in their business. They're finishing projects, they're trying to sell, they're managing communication with the client, they're sending emails, they're getting on calls, but nobody's really watching the business and managing the actual person. Now, I know it's kind of weird, you're talking about yourself in the third person, but if you're your own business, you gotta spend time managing yourself, making sure that you're not burning out, that you're staying on track, that you're heading in the right direction, that you have what you need, that there's an overall plan. You're not just working around the clock consistently with no kind of general direction. That is what leadership is about. It's learning how to manage yourself, but also once you've learned how to manage yourself, learning how to manage others as well. So the people that you work with, the projects that you're involved, the people that you outsource to, or the staff that you take on over time, all those different things. You got to learn how to lead, lead your business, lead yourself, and lead the people that you're involved with through your business. Once you've got the technical skills and once you know how to sell, a lot of it's going to come down to leadership skills, pointing the business in the right direction, making sure that there's a long-term plan here for success, making sure that you're staying on track and managing your resources, your time, your focus, making sure that you're doing the most important things every day to move your business forwards. This is something that you got to keep in mind and it's something that I'm definitely going to focus on and teach you in this challenge. Now, where do people go wrong with leadership skills? One, I think they just don't even think about it. They don't focus on it. And that is a major problem. It means that you're often going to lose control of yourself, of your business, of the projects that you're involved in, and you're not managing your business as well as you could. If you're only working in your business, if you're only doing the work day in and day out, it's very, very easy for your business and what your business does to start 
spinning out, heading in the wrong direction and ending up in all sorts of trouble. So you got to have the skills and you got to spend the time to keep your business and yourself on track. Otherwise, you know, the years are going to pass and you're not seeing any overall progress. You might make some money here and there, but nothing is really changing month to month, year to year. And you don't want that to happen. Now, I know you might just be starting off, but this is something that if you focus and you're aware of it from the very beginning, you're going to see massive, massive progress in a short amount of time. So this is something that I want to show you with this challenge, and it's going to be a big part of what we're going to learn as we move forwards. So that is it. Three key skills for profitable web design. One, technical skills, the core of your business. Two, sales skills to get it moving forwards, to accelerate the business, to make sure that things are happening in the business. Skill number three, leadership. Keep things on track, heading in the right direction, making sure that you're managing yourself and the business correctly. All right, so that is a lot of stuff to take in and it's a lot to think about, especially if you're just starting off or if you're new to web design. Don't worry, with this challenge, we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna show you how to do all these different things, how to master these skills and make sure that your business is going somewhere, that it's gonna be profitable and that it's putting you in the right direction, the direction that you wanna go in. So thanks for watching this video. I hope that you got a ton of value from it. Let me know any questions or any feedback or suggestions in the comments below. Click on the link in the description. It's going to show you what the whole challenge is about, what's coming up next, and there's some extra resources there as well. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you next week.